Alright, how's it going guys? Um, today I wanted to talk about a really awesome plant for the West Coast. Um, one of the best plants you could ever plant on the West Coast. Uh, Choicea ternata. So uh, I decided to do a voiceover today because uh, my neighbors are out playing and they're being super loud. So uh, hopefully this works out. Um, but this is one of the most consistent and fastest growing plants that I have in my whole entire garden. I've been very surprised. Um, I planted this specimen as about a 12 inch, basically a little tiny seedling plant. Um, and it is blue has blossomed into this in three years. So um, I will add a picture at the end of the video of what this looked like just in May, three months ago. Um, and it was at the most half this size. So they are very fast growing um, when they're happy. Um, this is a plant that's native to uh, Texas, New Mexico, and uh, Arizona, as well as uh, northern Mexico. Um, so it is a southwestern plant, even though it looks so tropical. Um, this variety I have here is uh, the Sundance variety. So there's the normal um, Choicea ternata species um, that's going to be an all green form. Um, but this, or just the, you know, that's the natural form. And then this is going to be the Sundance variety. So uh, it gets this beautiful pale green chartreuse yellow. Um, it really just depends on what time um, the leaves come out or uh, how long they've been out. Um, but they change all year. You can see the lower, lower leaves, some of them are really that uh, pale yellow color. And then the new, new growth is kind of like that uh, green, greenish yellow color. Um, that will change the pale yellow over the winter. Um, but this is an awesome broadleaf evergreen. Um, I've had complete success with it in Salt Lake City here. Um, I've never had to protect it. Um, and it has just consistently been one of the most healthy plants in my whole entire garden. Um, so this uh, Sundance variety is about 3 to 5 degrees less cold hardy than the um, normal species, the green form. Um, and the green form is hardy to about five degrees um so this one's hardy to about eight degrees and i've had absolutely no issues with it and i've seen a few other specimens around downtown salt lake city um not they're not super common but i have seen a few because uh, i actually bought this here in uh, salt lake city at a local nursery they were uh, stocking a lot of them so um hopefully this becomes a lot more popular around here but uh yeah, this is an awesome plant. Um, it is seriously one of the best ones you could plant on the West Coast. Um, and there you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.